Good morning. It is Monday. Welcome to a new daily plan with me. Uh, this one is starting a little bit different because I am at home at my desk ready to work. I'm working from home until further notice. We are doing some cross training today. We have multiple systems and different teams that work with different systems. So I'm learning a new system. It's kind of similar to what I was using in my old department. On my break, I'm going to go ahead and film the first part of a new reading vlog just so that I have the intro already prepped. Since I'm working from home, I might as well maximize my efforts. I know I have a couple of videos that I want to get out. I've taken a break. I haven't really imported any footage from the camera. But anyway, I wanted to go ahead and let you know why I'm at home. I won't have any calls today, but we can at least do some other things and jump back into the planner. And we also need to go back to the plans for March because I didn't present any that I can remember but i didn't have a lot of calls in march there's a lot of downtime on the phones so i didn't have much to present to you at that time and of course i can't show you my screens so it wasn't really a lot going on but i am going to throw a few of those throwback daily plan with me's in the midst of this one so that you still have a little bit of that and for those that are new i am sil sil i reside in atlanta i am a personal lines underwriter on the home side I'm currently at home I mean I don't know what else to say so let me go ahead and get into the work day and then we'll talk a little bit later let me go ahead and show you some footage from Definitely had a lot to say about highly suspicious and unfairly cute. I will leave that reading vlog in the cards above. This is my task planner notepad. It's one of my favorites. I need to restock. They better be in stock so I can restock. But anyway, here is my pre-plan for the day. We'll see how it goes, but this is what I have. I'm underwriting, how may I assist? Good, how are you? To my knowledge, no. Is there a particular policy that you're inquiring about? Clearly, I've been out of the mix for too long because what are these angles that I'm giving you? The disrespect, I truly apologize. I would hope that the footage gets better. I am upset for me and you. Okay, so I did go ahead and take a look just to make sure that we had the proper information for them. I do see that they are listed and they did receive one last year. They would be able to send that out for you. You're welcome. Okay. So just to clarify, this is a claim that we paid out. Okay, so what is the policy number? Thank you, one moment. Because if there is a claim that we have all of the documentation that we need, so you can still submit that document that you do have um, but we might not need anything. Let me double check to make sure that we have what we need. Either way, yes, either way, photos that the adjuster has attached to that claim so that we can honor that. One moment. Okay, okay, yes, the law state. Mm -hmm. No other documentation would be needed. You can submit what you do have, and you can also reference the claim number. All right. And is there anything else I can assist with? You're welcome. You're welcome. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Okay, the policy number, please. Thank you. One moment. For this particular policy, no, they do not. Let me double check on the particular condo. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for holding. I do apologize for that wait. Is available. You should be okay to go ahead and submit that. You should be able to do that. That shouldn't be an issue when submitting that. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Thanks for calling. Bye-bye.
Oh, no. Just to clarify, this is not a client that we already have on the books, correct? Oh, got it. But they were married at the time, correct? I'm not even going to lie to you right now. You're on top of a cylinder vase and two Tupperware lids and a scrunchie. Don't ask. Don't ask. I've been home for a couple of hours, had something to eat. I talked to Charlita. She was going to LA Fitness, but she ended up at Halftime Books. I'm to blame. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. I got myself ready for bed, but of course I wanted to get my video up and it was halfway done with editing. So I finished that. <sighs> It's now importing, so it should be up by 10.15. So when you're seeing this, this video, you know what I went through. I got home a lot later than I thought I would, but the weather was bad, so the traffic was not the greatest. I don't know how that U-Haul ended up hitting that vehicle, and then we're looking at headlights. It was a one-way. Yeah, a lot of crazy accidents that happened, but I got home safely, so that's good. I hope everyone is okay. I didn't see any ambulances, so maybe they were on their way. I don't know. Okay, so my video is going up. What else? Just to recap the day before I get ashy because I didn't bring my lotion down. I just wanted to finish this and then go back upstairs. The work day, really quickly. I had 22 calls. I was on the phone 9.30 to 11.15. My lunch is at 11.30. Then I got back on the phone after lunch from 12.15 to 2.15. Calls were okay. We have multiple systems running right now and we have a few things that are getting switched over. It's a whole technical thing. So a lot of the reps out in the field are really trying to make sure that they are submitting things correctly into the right unit, into the right department. So it's definitely a lot of reiterating information that they got at some point last year and this year, but it can definitely get lost in translation with deadlines and all of that. So we help them through that. We have a lot of new reps that just don't even know where to begin. Overwhelmed with information and I get it, I get it. So a lot of walking through a lot of things, even though that's not, that's not my job. But anyway, I'm happy to help as long as it makes our job easier. So I'm a-okay with helping the reps do their part within reason of my role. You know what I mean? My workout ended up not being what I wrote down. Here's the thing. I am definitely driven by my emotions. I feel like I need to come to terms with that because if I just don't feel like it, I don't feel like it. I'm not going to force myself to do it because mentally I'm not there. And that might not be a good thing because there are certain things that have to get done. But if I'm not in the mood to do it, like why torture myself? But anyway... I went to my workout and I got on the treadmill. I did complete a mile. Did I do the six minutes? I was like, I'm not feeling that. So I did a two minute warm up. Then I jogged for two minutes, then walked for a couple minutes and jogged for two minutes and did that until I got to the mile. And then I went ahead and did core work and I was looking at the time and looking at the weather and looking at the time. And I was like, yeah, I'm doing Romanian deadlifts and I'm doing 45 pound dumbbells. Then I'll do a 50 pound. And then I'm gonna do like some more core work and then I'm gonna leave. And that's why I got home so much later. That's how the workout went. My cleaning routine, let's be honest. <laughs> I'm going to bed. And this is why the cleaning ends up happening on the weekend because by the time I get home, I don't know, how am I supposed to have kids? Like, and this is why I keep saying, you know, I'm gonna be a basketball wife. I can do all my philanthropy. I can do all of the degree toting that I wanna do. And I don't have to drive across town. Anyway, the workday was productive. And there are a few people that got promoted into different roles, of course. I slapped myself because I was like, no, am I being complacent or am I just not seeing any roles that I want to apply for? A little bit of both. And I told myself I'm not going to be complacent. So I'm going to keep looking 
to see what the company has to offer because there are way too many people getting these positions that I feel like, when did that go up? When did that post go up? I check it every week. It's currently 10.06. I'm gonna read, hopefully, let's see how far I need to get. It's taking me way too long. Uh, this author is really feeling like the long-winded friend, but anyway. No, I said I wanted to read chapters 10 through 13. Does that mean I meant complete 10, complete 11, complete 12, complete 13, or just complete 10 through 12? I don't know what I meant. But maybe I meant until I get to this part. I think I meant until I get here, which is right before the start of chapter 14. So I got to go upstairs and start reading because this is how much. I'm trying to read this much before I go to bed. So let me shut up and go upstairs and get into these pages because I'm tired of reading this book already. Not because it's not good, but because it's taking a long time and it's not even the biggest book I've read thus far. I'm gonna do that and I will see you in the next one. Bye.